Some watch as they drift on by, while others, like this family, actually live on them. This barge, moored on the riverside in Vernon, has been their home for the past two years. It's an unusual abode with views over the Seine and its inhabitants. This is pure bliss. It's a real pleasure for these nature lovers, but it's also a real challenge, especially with children like five-year-old Leia and three-year-old Adele on board. We chose to have gangways with these one meter 20 high barriers. Security is very important, but of course our daughters grew up on this boat. They were practically born on it. They've learned all the rules and how to respect the river. It's a learning curve every day. You also have to keep an eye on the boat. It's a big chunk of steel which expands in summer and retracts in winter. So you need to be a handyman or a handywoman and do lots of different jobs. Go on, let it go. One of the strange things about living on a boat is that you need to have another boat to clean the windows. On this side it's okay, we're protected from the currents, but on the other side it's more complicated. You have to go right around the barge to clean the portholes. We have about a dozen to do and we clean them twice a year. Hi Lea. Hello Adele. But living on a remote barge away from the bright lights doesn't mean there aren't any neighbours. On a boat, we always take our shoes off. It's a river tradition. It's no surprise what the main topic of conversation is when these barge dwellers get together. <laughs> we tend to talk a lot about boats, give each other a few tips. For example, when there's snow or when it floods, things happen that don't happen in a normal flat. Oh, it's moving. There's a little boat that just sailed by. The smaller it is, the more it moves. For those who aren't ready to take the plunge and move on to a barge, you can still spend a few days in a bungalow along the canal linking Nantes to Brest. There you can see the meadow and then the canal continues after that. It's like a little bay. Anne-Laure and Jean-Louis are both retired and they've come to celebrate their wedding anniversary. We've been married now for a year, and I stopped working three years ago. We're here to relax. Here's, Here's to, to us. us. How do you feel? Oh, all's good. Feels like you're on a little cruise, but without moving. It's really relaxing. You hear the water because there's a weir that's right next to us. In the neighbouring bungalow, a group of four friends have also come to enjoy a canal-side break. We have a feeling of total freedom. We're close to nature. What's great is that you leave the bungalow and you're in the wilderness. You have barges that pass, water that runs by, fish that jump. It's a real break. Inside, there's a bathroom and a kitchen, and you can relax as if you were in your own apartment. What should we do tomorrow? What do you suggest? We should rent an electric boat. On dry land, there's a cycle path and a towpath running along a Saint-Jacques-de-Compostelle route. Lots of tourists come to this corner of France, making it a strategic location for the owner of the bungalows. We're in the Morbihan countryside here. Morbihan means little sea in Breton. We are out on the Oust River, dug out for the needs of the Nantes-Bresse canal. When people come out on the water, they are always more relaxed. 
apaisé. All of these things please me. Toutes ces choses-là me plaisent.